Hey guys, so welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So this is just going to be a quick update video um, that hopefully I can get this up for Thursday and then I'll get back into my regular videos starting next week. It is Wednesday right now. And um, a lot has been going on. You guys have not seen me for a minute on YouTube. And that's because there was some stuff going on. So in short, um, my church, we started our 21-day fast. And we started it on January 6th. We are currently on the 17th day. So we have four days left into the fast. And um, I normally wouldn't tell you guys like during my fast that I'm fasting. But I'm telling you guys to give you guys sort of an overview of like why everything has been crazy so um we started our fast and immediately when we started our fast things just went left field um completely left field which i think is hilarious and also upsetting at the same time it's hilarious because it's crazy how the enemy um he waits to do things like his timing is never off if that makes sense just like god's timing t is always on point so is the enemy so he knew exactly when to start coming after my family and i um, and he's been doing things as well as to other church members and my um, other members in my church during this fast. But um, yeah, uh, there was a situation with the cable, so that was like completely terminated. Um, so we didn't have Wi-Fi for uh, about a week and a half or so. So I wasn't able to like upload any videos. And you guys can hear the smoke detectors right now. So basically, um, during that week of the fast, there was a little bit of an incident. Um, at my house with the wiring um, small fire on the end like the inside of the walls and downstairs in the basement um, which then caused a lot of things in this apartment to go haywire my DVD player does not work um, our Keurig is not working anymore like it plugs in but this it will not cut on at all um, our deep freezer is plugged in like it's like everything is plugged in you can turn it on but they don't work so we're dealing with that and for some reason my smoke detector is bugged out and you can also hear the smoke detector from upstairs which is insane which never happened so I don't know what's going on with that it seems to be like my room and my mother's room smoke detectors are like messed up right now so we have to fix that um what else has been going on so i have been having really really bad migraines um really bad migraines and normally i get a migraine when i don't eat i tend to not eat and it's not like i purposely don't eat but i can go throughout the day forgetting to eat and um normally i'll eat it'll take a good 10-15 minutes but then my headache will go away well these headaches have not been um the best at all um they these migraines excuse me they have been really bad to the point where i can eat and they don't help um, so I have been taking ibuprofen 800 and that took a while for it to kick in. So I have literally been like sleeping. Then I had that time of the month and, um, it was the worst excruciating pain of my life. I have given birth. I have felt cramps. I, I had a C-section, but I have felt contractions because they messed up my epidural. So <laughs> I know what contractions feel like. And for some reason, my cramps get worse and worse and worse but during this fast it has been the most intense it has ever been i also suffer from um internal pain which i'll talk about that in one of my testimony videos that's going to come but i do suffer from internal pain around that time of the month and um it was the worst pain ever this time around. it's like everything was intensified um so we had that then there was a lot of other you know, like emotional things going on and whatnot. So this these these last three weeks have been like freaking insane, um to say the least. But I'm back. Um, so I'm back. So the Faith Reads Readathon has been going on. I'm not sure if you ladies are following along or joining in on that, but I'm still doing it just so that it's out there. That way, when I do it next year, you guys be able to watch my video and understand. Um, there will be an Instagram winner. Only one person entered in for the Instagram. Um, so I'm going to check her account and let her know, but we have that. Um, as far as like the books that I've read, the books I'm currently reading and the books that I still need to read, I'll run through that with you guys real quick. So the first book I completed was Calling and Separation by Pastor Bob Yandon. This was Christian nonfiction. I don't have my prompts in front of me, but this was for the prompt about reading a nonfiction from what I remember. And, um, 
this was good. I gave it four stars. Um, it was basically about what the definition of calling and separation is. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, how we all have a calling, but not everyone is separated for that call. Just how this, this is a scripture that says many are called, but so few are chosen. Um, everyone has a calling. Everyone has a purpose. But your sep you being separated is all about um, your maturity at that stage where you're calling, if that makes sense. Like how Elijah was called, how David was called, but they were not. Um, placed in their positions until they were completely separated and matured to be king or for Elisha to become the new prophet after Elijah. So that was that. This was good. I enjoyed it. So that was the first one that I read. Um, followed, following that, I read On Wings of Devotion by Rosanna M. White. This was not on my TBR, but I'm including it because this is a book that I read for the Faith Reads Readathon. Um, this was really good. I gave it 4.5 star rating. This is historical fiction romance, and it was so, so, so cute. The faith aspects in this was amazing. I love Major Camden as well as Nurse Arabelle. They are just the most adorable. I'll talk about this further in my wrap-up. I don't want this video to be too long because I do want to upload it. But um, I read this, loved it, 4.5 star rating. Following that, I then read Ascendant, which wasn't on my TBR, but I'm throwing it on the TBR for the prompt that was to read a book about good versus evil. Um, this is Ascendant by Kimberly Gray. This is the first book in the Ascendant trilogy. There will be four books, three books, and then a prequel novella. And um, this was really good. It basically is about black wings versus white wings, guardian angels. Um, the white wings are evil. The black wings are good. So the colors are flipped. And it follows a young saboteur named Grace, who is a white wing, and her being captured by the black wings and learning the truth and everything like that. And it's so, so good. I gave this four stars. It was really good. Following that, I then read my buddy read with my sis. Yeah, I know we do buddy reads all the time. Like, expect a buddy read from us every month. But we read Mind Games by Nancy Mahel. This was also on my TBR for the Faith Reads Readathon. This was for the prompt of um, a five-star prediction. And also for um, Good versus Evil. And I think the other prompt was to read a Christian fiction that's not biblical this one this was so good so it was really really great i wanted to give it a five star but that ending pissed me off so i gave it a 4.5 <laughs> or was it a 4.75 it was either 4.5 or 4.75 but that ending pissed me off so much because oh my god it wasn't the fact of the killer because we kind of had conversations throughout while we were reading about who the killer was but it was more so his reasoning that pissed me off of why he did what he did so this was good if you love criminal minds read this this reads like a criminal minds tv episode great loved it this is romantic suspense i read another romantic suspense following that this one is endgame by rachel dillon i believe i gave this also a four star 4.5 i think it's a four star rating um this was good it deals with the ncis it reads like an ncis episode so if you do like ncis read it um it has fbi cia and um the police departments and all that this was really really good um my only thing is that this dragged on for me just a little bit but in that aspect it again reminds me of ncis episodes and how they drag out for episodes like one episode is really split into like three different yeah y'all get what i'm saying but it was good i enjoyed it following that i then read zipporah um wife of moses by mary Coulter. this book oh my gosh i wanted to give it a five star but I've, i have some internal conflicts um which I'm gonna I'm gonna actually have like a full blown review for this book. Um and apologize about my background, sorry. But um I gonna have a full actual review on this book because I have so many thoughts and many feels on this book, but I don't know what to fully give it. Like I don't know if I wanna give it a four star, four point five, five star. This is good though. I really enjoyed it. Just be aware that this does include sex, okay? There are sex scenes in here and they are written and um this book actually brought to my mind like is there a limit when writing biblical fiction? Um, or Christian fiction novels. Is there a limit? Because in secular books, there is no limit. Everything is exposed. And um, when you read the Bible, everything is exposed. But if you're writing Christian biblical fiction, should everything be exposed? And I'm going to have a whole video on that because I want to talk about this book as well as um, End of the Magi by Patrick W. Carr. But um, this was this, this this was great. I love this so much. I need to include my tabs because I didn't tab this. So I need to keep this book out to tab it up. But I did annotate all of these. Then I have read Collateral Damage by Lynn Austin. So, um, Lynn, Lynette Eason, excuse me. This is Romantic Suspense? Yes. This deals with the army, I've, yeah, the army, and the military psychiatrist. Now, 
this is a twofold. I gave it three stars, but I also DNF'd it. And what I mean by DNF'd it, I stopped reading after chapter 11 because I just, I was reading too many romantic suspense novels. So, um, this is a soft DNF, meaning that I was enjoying it, which is why I gave it a three star rating, but I felt like it was dragging. So I got tired of reading it and just stopped reading it. So I will continue reading this up, picking it back up. But for now, it is a three star slash DNF for me. Um, it was good, but I felt like it was dragging and the plot was interesting enough, but um, I wrote a review and all that, so we have that. Um, so what I'm currently reading right now is The 31 Proverbs Slight Your Path by Liz Curtis Higgs, Christian Nonfiction. Um, this is for the prompt that has to do with, um, oh my gosh, what is that prompt? The prompt that has to do with reading a book that has a book of the Bible in the title, so Proverbs, obviously, this is that. Also, Christian nonfiction, and I forgot to mention Zipporah goes for sorry, just dropped my medicine, but um, Zipporah goes for the prompt that was on um, reading a book about a lesser known biblical character. So, Zipporah, we know who she is, but she's not really well known. Um, but we have this. This is really good. I'm enjoying it. I'm thinking it's a four star rating for me, but um, I'm really enjoying it. I'm currently on day. Well, I'm actually a little bit behind on this. I'm supposed to be on day 22, so I have to do day 21 as well. But I'm really, really enjoying it. It's really good. I'm talking back to the text, meaning the way I'm annotating is like I find that I can really relate to the devotionals in this. Um, this is such a good book, and it goes through various different proverbs. So I'm loving it. Great read. And then the book, I'm, <laughs> I'm loving it right now. Um, I don't know if it's going to be a solid five star. I'm hoping it's a solid five, depending on how it ends. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's um, Iscariot by Tosca Lee. This goes for the prompt on reading a biblical fiction about a well-known biblical character. And this is on Judas Iscariot, the betrayer of Jesus. And this book is so good. Now, I know in my TBR video, um, someone had mentioned that... Uh, they were going they were thinking about throwing out their book because um they felt like Tosca Lee was feeding lies because on it it says that um you know he's the only disciple that Jesus called friend and it is true um now it's not to say that Jesus doesn't call all of us friends he calls each and every single one of us his friends and his brothers and his sisters but if you look through the scriptures the only disciple he has ever called a friend is Judas and the only disciple he ever called um, the one whom Jesus loved was John so I mean you know it depends like this is where you have to truly get an understanding of the scripture and an understanding for yourself of the Word of God um, I read biblical fiction with a grain of salt you know i know that it's fiction but i also know that it's based off of biblical facts which is why i always have my bible out and which is why i highlight specific scriptures if you guys can see in here so far i have purple tabs she's using a lot of scriptures even now um i'm on chapter 20 i'm um, up to chapter 22 i have to read the chapter 25 today right yeah i have to read up to chapter 25 so about like three four chapters 22 23 24 25 so four chapters left to go but um even here like i'm underlining lots of purple in here because she's referencing a lot of scripture which i'm loving and judas as a character is very intriguing um we all know he's a betrayer of jesus he sold jesus out for like 10 shekels was it 10 shekels or 30 can't remember how many shekels but he sold he sold jesus for 30 or t 10 some silver period um we all know that and i just think that this is really interesting um it gives a different perspective and insight um because we look at these people in the bible as if they're um, we put them on pedestals we don't really look at them as like what if you know like they're normal be human beings and what i like about biblical fiction is even though it is fictional obviously um you cannot take everything to heart but even though it's fictional it also gives us that other side that we don't really see when we're studying the word of god or looking at these people it, it's giving these people humanity um putting them as humans and we're not looking at them as just like oh my god disciples oh my god the king like these are men and women with issues and emotions and feelings and i am loving this um i'm loving the way that tasca has given judas a background and why he is the way he is um obviously we don't know if that's true biblical fiction of course but i am loving the way she's blending in the scriptures into a fictional story it is so beautiful and I'm, I'm loving it i'm enjoying it i think judas is an idiot though um <laughs> plain out he's an idiot but i have an actual review on this soon but we have that okay um then the next three books that i'm hoping to get to it is currently the 22nd right it's the 22nd yes yeah, january 22nd so i don't have that many days left um i have about 
eight books I need to finish before the end of the month. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Um, if I can finish t Iscariot and then get into my other book, then I'll be pretty much on point. Um, but the last... I'm going to say five plus one. So we already know. Okay, so the next book I'm going to read after I read Iscariot is going to be The Way of Brave by Susan May Warren. This is contemporary romance. Um, I'm hoping this is good. I hope I don't have to DNF this, but we have this ready, prepared, as you can see. So that's the next one. Um, then definitely want to get to um, American Omens by Travis Thrasher. This is sci-fi, futuristic. Can't wait to get into that. And then also on my TBR for this week, fingers crossed, it's going to be Left Behind by Tim LaHaye and Jerry B. Jenkins. Again, already divided up. This one is supposed to be a four-day read, so we're going to work it out. <laughs> um, and then... This one is The Love, which is The Fruit of the Spirit by um, Robert Strand, The Devotional. This is for the one where you have to read, a, the prompt is to read a book that has one of the fruits of the spirit in a title. We have this. I haven't started this yet, but this is really just a quick devotional. Nothing over the top. So um, I'm going to probably do this next week and spend a couple days. Because I can do this in one day, but I might break it down into a couple days. But we have this, which is definitely going to get done. Um, the last two that might not get done unfortunately um thief of corinth was also for the prompt that has to do with reading a book with a book of the title book of the bible in the title um but this like i said was going to be a maybe just because it would be it's a reread of course obviously for me but um i don't know i just i want to try to reread this with a different mindset now that i've read uh the other book which i just have to show you guys oh my god my baby is here my baby is Okay, now, let me just say this. I pre-ordered, um, September 18th, yes, I'm, September 18th, 2019, I pre-ordered this book, okay, on Amazon. I got a message from Amazon, um, a week ago saying that it was going to be delivered on Thursday, which is tomorrow. However, I came home yesterday, um, I had a funeral to go to, we, um, one of the members of my church, her mother passed away, so we had to help her with that, and we got home, and this was sitting in my room, you guys, Holy cow, Tyndall sent this to me. Now, I did sign up for a Instagram takeover tour, which is where you guys see me post a lot of, like, book pictures um, because I do a lot of Instagram tours. I think that's what you call them. But, again, I don't know if this is from the actual, like, for the Instagram tour, if this was just sent from Tyndall because on the packaging it says Tyndall. So, I don't know if it was because I'm a reviewer or... I don't know. I, I don't know. But it's here. So I canceled my Amazon order just because I didn't want to have two copies. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, I should have just kept that one and did a giveaway. But whatever. But I have it. And I, this is the seventh book. Eighth or seventh? Oh my god, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five, six. The eighth book. Excuse me. The eighth book from Miss Tessa Afshar. And feels, okay? Feels. Just know I have a... Book to look makeup tutorial coming on this already pre is already scheduled and then I also have my reading block scheduled so my review on this book will be coming separately soon but bills okay but anyways like I was saying this was a maybe so we have that but the last book that was like a necessity that I said I was gonna read was from this this is the signature classics bind up but it was supposed to be mere Christianity um and the cover is right here this is the cover from mere Christianity so this book was a book I'm also supposed to read for um, oh my god. I think it's to read a classic, a Christian classic. So, that one. Um, but might not get to it. I don't know. If I don't get to it, it'll definitely be my February reads. But that's how that is going. So, so far, I have completed... I'm gonna include the ones I'm currently reading because I'll be done with them. But I have completed these books here. This stack. Plus, I have two books down there on the shelf that I threw. But... I'm doing pretty good. I'm excited and I'm really like glad that I've started this. And again, if you guys did not join, it's totally fine. I will have one going next year for sure. Um, that I think is pretty fun. I might do one in the summer. You know, do like a summer um, Faith Reads Readathon. And probably have one every winter and every summer. That way we can skip like every season. So we'll see. I'm thinking about it because I'm really actually enjoying it. Um, it's kind of hard for me just because I have like thousands of other books to read. If you guys could see my cart right now with all the other books that I have to read um y'all would think I was insane but I on average read about 20 anywhere from 15 to 20 books a month um right now I have read a total of 17 books 
if I'm including the two that I'm currently, the three I'm currently reading, that's 17 bucks. Um, it's the 22nd. We have 31 days. We're going to try to do this. Um, I'm going to try to not do anything, like, and just focus and settle on these books because for February, I already have two books that I have to read for DOI, of course. But for the month of February, I'm trying to read a lot of black authors um, as far as, like, in the secular world books. So I have, like, a lot of fantasy novels written by black authors that I want to read. Like, I already have my books set. So, yes, if you do want to know about those books, um, I'll have that on my book channel, which you can click the item screen and go to my book channel if you guys are interested. And that's where I talk about all the other books that I read that are not, like, Christian-based. As far as a bookshelf tour, I have that coming soon. I'm just going to try to figure out the smoke detector situation. It's annoying. I'm going to try to figure out the smoke detector situation um, because it's, it's, it's aggravating how things have just been going. Um, my mind... Oh, and then my phone had, like, cut off for, like, a week. So, <laughs> you guys just pray my strength. <laughs> um, four days of this fast left. I, I know for a fact that 2020 is going to be a phenomenal year. Um, my mom and I, we are taking steps for us getting a house. So, I'm super excited about that. We start the process this weekend. And, um, you know, I know a lot of things have been said to me, prophesied to me, concerning this year and concerning my future and i'm excited but when things get crazy it's just like oh my god you can't really what what you were told from god doesn't really normally stay in the forefront but i i will say that my faith has like skyrocketed with these um last three weeks like because the enemy has been on a rampage like it's serious um and then my son I don't know he's like on and off and he's been more sick than he's ever been um between last year and the beginning of this year like I, my son doesn't get sick too often so like right now he has like a cold but this morning there was something going on with his eyes so I don't we just January has not been the best month for me okay so just pray for me um as far as bible study we are starting john okay john will be specifically done in february as far as a date i don't have it yet just because things have been crazy i haven't been able to sit down and like fully map it out i wanted to start the first tuesday or wednesday in um february but that's not gonna work out so y'all yeah, know how these go we just gonna flow however the lord leads me to flow we gonna flow so definitely in february if not the second week then the by the third week of February, we'll be starting in John, um, for sure. I'm still trying to figure out how to do that because we know John is very long. John is super long. Um, so, yeah. Um, I also have a Bible review coming for you guys. I think I have, like, four or five Bibles I still need to, like, review for you guys. So, yeah. I know you guys are missing Bible reviews. Um, devotional with me videos are coming. I have a devotional with me that I did using my faith planner, um, with this, um, devotional as well as how I'm doing my Bible readings, because I am incorporating Bible reading as well into my devotional time. So, basically, every day, um, three times a day, I'm in my Bible. I'm doing my Bible study. I've been failing on that, but I'm doing Bible study, um, personal Bible study. Then I have the devotional, which is this one, and then I also have my Bible reading in a year plan that I'm doing, which I'm actually enjoying. I'm enjoying it a lot. So, you'll see that in the devotional with me video coming soon. But um, the videos that I have edited will be uploaded next week okay so next week there'll be videos that i have pre-recorded and then the following week we'll go back into like real time videos <sighs> just just pray for me guys but i'm gonna end this here i don't want this video to be super long i just wanted to let you guys know what's been going on it's been insane it's 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 been insane okay um you know other members in my church have been going through like other different things that have been more difficult um so you know i can't complain it is hard when you're facing things um but you know what I trust God, God leave it in his hands, and got to stay focused. So, yeah, and there's also something that I want to talk about with you ladies as well, but I'll do that in another video, um, just because I'm still simmering on it. Um, there's a lot of things that I want to do. Y'all know my struggle, so um, I'll do a whole video on that down the line. But, um, yeah, that is it for now, and I'll see you guys in the next video.